Hey y'all, let's take a look at absolute value inequalities. Blah, what does that mean? Let me know what absolute value means, right? What's the defini definition of absolute value? It means how far a number is away from zero, right? So if we go, you know, we have the absolute value of seven. Well, how far away from zero is seven? Well, it's seven, all right? Now, if we have you know, the absolute value of negative eight, the question is how far away from zero is negative eight? And the answer is eight. And math nerds around the world sit there and argue about this. Well, is it positive eight or is it just eight? <laughs> I don't really care. I'd rather argue about the Kardashians or something even less or more stupid than that. Anyway, um, that's the definition of absolute value. The symbol, of course, we just saw that right there. And the answer, we've done a couple of those. So th this is weird, though. Look at this. The absolute value of some number is four. What, what's the answer to x there? The absolute value of four is four, right? What else is the truth? Yeah, I mean, the absolute value, you could put negative four, right? So those are both answers. So when they, when they ask you to put the answer, well, you have to put both of those because both of those will work, all right? Let's do a couple of graphs and you'll need just a, uh, you don't need anything complicated at all with this. Again, make these graphs as simple as possible. Do not ever draw one like this. Uh, that's crazy. So <clears throat> just draw one very simple and only do what you need to do, okay? So let's go. The absolute value of x is greater than 2. Well, let's do this. Let's do the easy one first. Well, the absolute value of what number is greater than 2? I mean, we, we don't include this. Well, we know the answer is anything that's greater than 2, right? We won't include 2 because if, if we filled this in, that would mean that the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2. We just want greater than. And anything to the right of this qualifies, right? Any of these numbers in here, no matter how small, 4.000001 or 2.000001, that still works, right? Now the thing is, don't, don't forget, what else works for this? What else works? Okay, does zero work? No. Does one work? No, right? Does negative one work? No, okay. Does negative three work? What's the absolute value of negative three? Well, that's just three, right? Is three, if we're going to consider it positive, greater than two? Yeah, it is. So you would go, yeah, that would work. Oh, four would work. Five would work. Oh, all of these would work. Okay, except for right at negative two. Anything less than negative two would work. So that's your graph, because both of those would work. All right, let's try another one. X is, the absolute value of X is, excuse me, less than or equal to three. And this is interesting. It's not greater than, it's less than. So we're going to have a uh, kind of a compartmentalized part here. So uh, if you want to just kind of uh, test things out, let's talk about what doesn't work first. Well, give me a number that doesn't work. The absolute value of what number is not less than or equal to 3? You could say 4, right? The absolute value of 4 is not, well, that doesn't work. But you could also say, of course, negative 4, right? That doesn't work either because the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. That's not less than or equal to 3. You could do, oh, zero works. You could go, yeah, that works. And zero is, okay, that works. And that works. You could go even to the point where you go, oh, look, three works as well. And look, negative three works as well, too, because the absolute value of negative three is less than or equal to three, right? So what we're going to find out is that everything inside here works, including the three and including the negative three, because that's an, an equal to right there. Kind of a weird looking graph. Okay. All right, let's look at another one. The absolute value of, uh, of x is less than negative 4. No, try something. Give me a number, any number. What did you say? 8? Okay, let's try it. Absolute value of 8, is that less than negative 4? No, 8's not less than negative 4. That doesn't work. How about let's try, what, what was that you said? Negative 2. Good, okay. Let's see. Negative 2, uh, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, so 2 is not less than negative 4. That doesn't work either. How about 0? Does 0 work? No, let's see. Absolute value of 0 is 0. Is 0 less than negative 4? No, that doesn't work. Well, it doesn't look like anything works here. And there's a reason. Because nothing does work. Because there isn't any number in the entire universe that you can take the absolute value of. And it's going to be less than negative 4. So there isn't, isn't any such thing. So there is no solution. If you want to put NS for no solution. Or how about a 0 with a little through it? Or you can just, like, you know, to save yourself some time, just write no solu. And, and then, like, you know, maybe write, like, half the N. And then put a dot, you know, to kind of abbreviate that. 
so you don't waste all that time. And it looks like no solution. Okay. Doesn't work. All right, here's another one. The absolute value of x is greater than negative 4. Let's try some and see if we can find some that work. Can you find one that works? How about negative 1? Does that work? Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Is that greater than negative 4? Yeah, it is. Hey, it works. Good. Does 0 work? Absolute value of 0 is that? Yeah, it sure does. Yeah, 1 works. Okay, 2 works. Oh, 10 works as well. And look, negative 10 works too because the absolute value of negative 10 is 10, right? Is 10 greater than negative 4? Yep. In fact, everything is going to work, as you probably guessed, because the absolute value of anything is going to be better than a negative. Okay. All right. There. Okay. All right. Let's try a couple more here. Now, this is strange. Let's hold on to this for a second. All right. Look at that. Look what's different about that. The negative, right? Okay. Skip that for a second. Let's look, over, let's look down here. All right. Let's say we did this. We had you know, oh, uh, negative x is less than, uh, oh, well, let's say 5. Remember how to do those? We graphed those before. What did we have to do on that one? We had negative x is less than 5. We had to actually kind of flip this, right? So we don't want that. We don't want to find the, you know, negative x. We want positive x, right? So we had to divide everything by negative 1 on both sides of the equation, which you have to do that, okay? So it's going to give us an x here. That'll give us a negative 5. But we'll re recall what we had to do when we divided everything by negative 1 or multiplied by negative 1, whatever you want to call it. We had to flip this, right? So that's going to be like that. Okay. Another way of visualizing this, if you want, is if you're looking at this and you just said, ugh, all those negative numbers, I'm going to flip this over here and make it an x on this side. And I'm going to flip the 5 over here and make it a negative 5 on this side and leave it. Okay. Now imagine, you, this, is, this is what you see. It's like you're looking at the back of the mirror. You're on the other side of the mirror. Now walk yourself around right there and look at the front of the mirror. And what you'll see going from left to right is x is greater than negative 5, just like it is here. That's the logic behind that. Anyway, we're going to do exactly the same thing here on these. All right, and these absolute value inequalities. So we're just going to take the entire thing and divide by negative 1. All right? If we do that, we will get just a normal old absolute value of x. We will get a 3 on the right side. And instead of a greater than or equal to, we'll get a less than or equal to 3. Okay. And that's it. So let's, see, let's graph this. What numbers will give you an absolute value of equal to 3 or less than 3? And the answer is anywhere from negative 3 to positive 3. Anything outside these, let's say it's 6. Well, the absolute value of 6 is 6. That's not less than or equal to 3. You could say the absolute, you could try negative 10. Negative 10, the absolute value of negative 10 is just 10. 10 is not less than or equal to 3, so you can't include. Okay. All right. One more. Same kind of dealio here. All right. We're going to do exactly the same thing except for one slight extra part. What is it? Yeah, this goes over, right? Boink. So we're going to get the negative absolute value of x is greater than negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. Okay? And we're going to switch the entire thing and make it a positive uh, absolute value of x. We'll make it a less than. We'll make this a 3. Okay. So here we go. It's going to have to be less than 3. All right. Well... Everything less than 3. We're not going to include 3. So if you ever get stuck on these, just try, try a few that, and see if they work. Does 5 work? Is, it, is the absolute value of 5 less than 3? No. Okay. Does 2 work? Is the absolute value of 2 less than 3? Yeah, that works. In fact, negative 2 works as well, right? We can't, of course, you can see what's happening here. Oh, 1 works. Oh, 0 works. 1 works. No, excuse me, negative 1. But you can't include the actual negative 3 because the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 3 is not less than 3, so we can't include that. But everything larger to that and everything less than 3. And there we go. And that is your solution. Okay. All right. We'll try these two practice problems and uh, come back when you're ready. Okie doke. Let's try A first. 
all right and this is another one of those kind of funky ones you have to move stuff around so this goes over here and we get a new inequality which is a negative absolute value of x is greater than negative 11 plus 9 is negative 2 so we're going to kind of rearrange that so it's going to be positive absolute value will be less than positive 2 okay so everything has to be less than 2 so we're looking at this won't include negative 2 won't include 2 but it will be everything inside there like that okay. and again please don't write anything that's complicated just make it as simple as possible for yourself okay pause it and try b all right this is weird all right X, the absolute value of what number is greater than zero we you can go well this works uh that works this works too negative three because that's gonna the only thing that won't work is i won't give away the entire answer but i'll kind of i'll give you a hint here if you connect these dots that's the answer of it oh you got it yeah that's it okay so you're gonna have to put it like a circle there that like you can't include zero but you're going to need to go like this and it includes all those and then it just includes all those as well so anyway okay hope you all had fun i know you did i'll see you next time